right. Look at the, the Bibles in Matthew chapter 4, 18. Yeah, I look at my, in my pocket and I got a $20 bill. No, I'm not going to give it away, but I'm going to give you an example. You ever been so excited to give somebody something that you couldn't wait for them to get it? Yeah, I love doing things for my wife. My wife, you know, likes cooking. And so at Christmas time, she wanted something that was called a Le Creuset pot, a Dutch oven. I don't know what it is, but I went to the store and they said, we're, we're sold out. And there we go. We're sold out. <laughs> and uh, we're not going to have any more until after Christmas. And I told the girl, is there anything you could do for me? My wife really wants this pot. And the girl said, let me see. She calls me on the 23rd of December and says, sir, we got you one. I ran all the way to Rosemont from Hammond and got my wife what she wanted. She was so happy when she saw it. And I think of you as you're sitting at home, laying at home. Some of y'all stretched out like that. Some of y'all laying on the floor. Some of y'all in, in your pajamas. Ew. Some of y'all just looking. And, uh, you know, one of my greatest fears is that you're not using this time that the Lord has given you to grow your faith. Let me say this, if you, when this virus, whatever, I was going to say garbage, when this stuff, when we're out of it, when we're out of it, you should come out of it stronger than you were before you went in. You got to become a stronger Christian, stronger personal, uh, a person physically, a stronger person mentally. Do not waste the extra time that God has given you to be in front of a phone a video game, a computer, don't do that. That's wasting your life. And one of the things we need to work on and come out stronger is this area of walking with God. What does it mean to walk with God? Now I want you to, I'm going to start off by saying this. If you do not walk with God, eventually you will run from him. Let me say this again. If you do not walk with God, eventually you will run from him. Let me make another statement. Running from God must be the most exhausting thing ever. Realizing that you're the only one moving. Let me say that again. Running from God must be the most exhausting thing ever. Realizing that you are the only thing moving. Because God doesn't move. You move. So we you say, man, Brother Rick, what does it mean walking with God, you hear that all the time. Let me say this. We all walk at different speeds. I have long legs. If I go walk with my wife, she got little legs. And I'll walk 5, 10, 20, 30 feet ahead of my wife. And she'll be way back there. Why? Because I've got a longer stride. You know, walking with God is something uh, that you can learn to walk as fast as you want. There are people that get saved. And man, within a week... They are changing their life. They're giving up their habits. They are so winning. They're out there and they're, and they're testifying and they're telling people about the gospel. And there's people that have been saved for five years. You're still the same person you were on day one. You're not walking with God. You're crawling. The Bible says in Matthew chapter 4, verse 18, And Jesus, walking by the Sea of Galilee, saw two brethren, Simon called Peter, and Andrew his brother, casting a net into the sea, for they were fishers. And what did Jesus say? He said unto them, follow me and I will make you fishers of men. How do I walk with God? First of all, I want to say is we learn to walk with God by learning from others who do it. We learn to walk with God by learning from others who do it. You know what's the best way to teach somebody something? Show them. What's the best way for you to learn something? YouTube, right? When I was a kid, you had to go to the encyclopedia and, and uh, you had to look and you had to sit there and make copies. Now, just you two. Let me say that. You learn to walk with God by learning from others who do it. Jesus was a perfect example. He called people and they followed him. He said, follow me and I'll make you fishers of men. The Apostle Paul. In 1 Corinthians 4.14, these are some of my favorite verses in the Bible. The Apostle Paul said, 1 Corinthians 4, 16, Wherefore I beseech you, be ye followers of me, as I follow Christ. He wasn't saying follow me because I'm all that. He said, follow me as I follow Christ. That's the beautiful thing about the bus ministry. The beautiful thing about a bus captain, bus workers, is that if you have the right kind of bus worker that loves the Lord and loves you, 
They are not trying to win you over to them. They're trying to say, hey, follow me so I can, or follow me so that you can walk with God alongside me. Listen, when Jesus called the 12 men, he called them disciples. What's a disciple? The word disciple means a student, a learner. I, I, my favorite definition for disciple is one who is in the same way. One who is in the same way. Now, I'm going to tell you why a lot of young people don't walk with God. Because you're walking with people that are going in the opposite direction of where you need to be. You know, pastor said something this morning. He said, if you will be what you need to be and do what you need to do, you'll get a long way ahead in the will of God. If you be what you need to be, if you'll be, not you be, if you'll be what you need to be, and if you will do what you need to do, you will get a long way in the will of God. You know, I've got these guys right here because uh, we're going to do a little game here real quick. Might be maybe two or three minutes. If you've been on a, an activity with me, one of the ways that you begin to walk with God is you just begin to praise him. Man, God is good. This morning, I was up early morning walking. I had my headphones on. I was listening to a, that song, Jesus Is. And I had my hands up in the air. I was walking down Holman and I was just praising the Lord. I don't care. Somebody saw me, they're like, oh man, who's robbing that dude? Nobody's robbing me. I'm praising the Lord. Ever get so excited about praising the Lord? So one way to start walking with God is just this. Start talking about how good God is. Now I've, I've got two guys here. We're going to play a little game. We're going to do the alphabet. So we're going to start off, you're going to start off with A, B, C, D. E, F, G. And what you're going to do is you are just going to praise God. With the letter that you have, you are going to praise the Lord with the letter that you have. All right? You guys ready? Now, if who knows what happens if they miss? Me. Yes, what happens? They get water. <laughs> Amen. They got vinegar. Amen. That's vinegar. Amen. That's vinegar. Amen. All right? Here we go. So are you... I'll tell you what, Joanne, get that cup. Go right and get me some water. I don't want to throw vinegar at these guys. Now do it. All right, all right. Here it, we go. So it's for the gospel. It. So one way we start to praise God is, man, just talk about how good God is. You know, if I were to say, if I were to, why don't you guys stand up here? If I were to say, Frankie is funny. Adrian is a dummy. You know, I, 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 attributes about them. So are you ready? You're going to start off with the letter A, B, C, D. E, F, G. You got it? <laughs> so how do I start walking with God? Number one, start walking with somebody who walks with him. Number two, follow somebody in that direction. And then start off by praising God. Are you ready? No. Are you ready? No. Who wants to go first? Stop yeah. moving. Stop moving. All right. Here we go. No, Are you no, ready? No. All right. Here we go. A. Amazing. Beautiful. Comfort. The best. <laughs> ah! <laughs> He needs some milk. Right. No, no. Oh, what, what's a good letter for D? Divine. Divine. Yes. Deity. Yes. Okay. Let's start off. Here we go. E. Everlasting. Faithful. G. G. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
I'll give you that. <laughs> like, R, a Q. <laughs> Quality. <laughs> by praising God. You ought to have a letter. You ought to have a word for every letter in the alphabet. God is amazing. God is blessed be the Lord God. God is the Christ. God is deity. He is excellent. He is forgiving. He is faithful. He is God. He is the most high. All right, and you keep going. He's the Keeper, he is the Lamb, he's Messiah, he is Master, he's omnipotent, he's omnipresent. Where am I at? Oh, uh, uh, you know, you ought to have one word for every attribute or a way to define and praise God. I mean, now let me finish. We learn the best by learning from others, or we learn how to walk with God by learning how others do it. Jesus had followers who, who he taught how to fish and how to walk with him. The Apostle Paul had followers who he said, follow me even as I follow Christ. Let me say this. Walking with God is a two-way street. You talk to God in prayer and God talks to you in his word. Young people, I think one of the biggest shames is, and I'll be done here, one of the biggest shames is that we have gone now on Wednesday. You have been 70 something hours away from the beginning of the week and God has not gotten one minute of your time. That's sad. If I go to your social media usage, it's off, it's off the, the hook. You've used hours. But when it comes to God, he gets very little, little time. So start off by praising him. Say, God, you're good, you're faithful, you're loving, you're kind, you're gracious, you're merciful. God, you keep me. God, you're my redeemer. You're my sustainer. And uh, ask the Lord to help you. Now, we're going to do this for a few weeks. But I want you to learn how to walk with God. How do I start walking with God? Start praising him. When I'm done here, start praising him. Write down. I got a list right here of things I praise the Lord for. These are all the different things I praise the Lord for. This is a prayer list that goes six pages and some of almost, there's graduates in here, there's folks that are backslidden, there's pastors, and this is my prayer list. But you walk with God, young people. Please give God your time.